Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to scale photos in Adobe Photoshop without losing quality. Let's begin by opening up a new document in Photoshop. You can do that by clicking the new button here if you have this panel. If you don't, go up to File, and then uh, New right here is Command N or Control N on a PC. Once you hit that, you're gonna get a dialog box that pops up. We're gonna make this eight and a half by 11, and the resolution's 300 pixels per inch. RGB, CMYK, doesn't matter for this case. This size document is gonna print out great on your home printer, so you'll have 100% quality on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. All right, so what we're looking at is how to scale photos, and actually how to insert photos uh, in order to keep the quality of them. So if I were to open up a photo, let's say from my finder window here, this, uh, this gardener photo, if I drag that down into Photoshop here, it opens it up as a new uh, document and it, you can see that it's a JPEG document. If I were to, for instance, copy paste this from one document that I opened up over here to my eight and a half by 11 one over here, and I paste that in, it's gonna paste it in as a rasterized image. Because it's a rasterized image, if I scale this down, uh, Command T to transform, and I'm gonna hold Shift and Option and grab a corner, I'm gonna scale it down real small because that's how, that's how big I wanted it for my document. But then later, I came back and I wanted to scale it back up. I'll do Command T again, and then we'll hold Shift and Option. Notice how pixelated it is. And when I hit Enter on that, Photoshop actually took those pixels squished them down and then tried to expand and stretch them back out again, it's forgotten what the quality of the photo was like before. Let me show you how to maintain the quality of the photos so you can scale them down and up as much as you want without losing any of that quality. And instead of copying and pasting a picture in, we could do one of two things. We could go open Finder and simply drag our photo in from the Finder window into the Photoshop document. From here, it's gonna put the photo in our document, but wait for us to give it the final placement options. So you see I have all the transform commands, and up in here, you can actually see the width and the height percentage at which that image is scaled from its original quality. But that's okay. If I go ahead and hit enter on this, it's now placed that into my document. Over here in my layers panel, you'll notice there's a little icon that we don't see on our other photo. This icon means that that image, that photo, is now a smart object, and smart objects are what allow Photoshop to remember and retain the quality of our images. So if I scale down this smart object to a, you know, itty bitty little thumbnail image, and I hit enter on that, and then I hit command T and scale it back up again, see how it's not pixelated because it remembers the quality of that photo. And actually, this photo, if I hit Command T, we can see what the percentage is uh, that I have it scaled to. So I'm at about 25%, which means if I zoom out here a little bit with uh, Command minus, I actually have quite a bit more percentage before I hit that pixelated level, before I go beyond 100% scaled of this image. So that's the difference between a photo that's been rasterized and a photo that's still a smart object that retains that quality. If I drag this layer on top of that one and I scale it up to the size that, oh, about that one is, you can see just how much difference there is. So if you're getting pixelated imagery when you're scaling it, try to bring it in by either dragging it in from your Finder or Explorer window into your document so that it is a smart object or go to file place embedded if we place embedded and we navigate to that photo we can also place it in there and it'll do the same thing it'll bring it in as a smart object ready for us to scale from the beginning we can just hit enter and scale it to our needs without losing any quality anyway that's it for this tutorial that's how you can scale photos in your photoshop documents without losing any quality if you guys have any questions or comments post them down below and until next time i'll see you guys later